Hi guys and welcome back to our Gregory home. I am standing in my new pantry. My amazing husband built me this totally awesome pantry. I'm gonna show you guys what it used to look like now. So we used to have just two, well I guess when we bought the house there used to be like a refrigerator and a freezer, like a big huge one in this area and it didn't make sense at all. And so what we did was we built a corner pantry um, with a door and shelves on the inside. It is a walk-in pantry, which is totally awesome. I'm super stoked about that. But yeah, it took, um, I don't know, about a month or so to build it just because he works a full-time job and I'm a stay-at-home mom and I do YouTube. And so yeah, painting and baseball and karate and all that stuff took over. But we eventually got it done and now that it is finally finished, I can show you guys and I'm going to decorate it for you guys today. Today I am going to be, whoa, there's a shadow. Sorry, the sun's going down. It's the only time I have to film a video for you guys, mom life. But today I am going to be putting all of my stuff back in. You can see my kitchen counters are just ridiculously covered and basically everything that was there before, we used to just have one little plastic shelf that was there. And so what I'm gonna be doing today is putting everything back and organizing it, um, but in an eco-friendly way. So the first thing I am going to put in are my small appliances. I have a blender, my Instapot. Uh, over there I have my air fryer and a couple other things over there. So that is gonna be the first step. At first I thought I was gonna put them up here, but I'm not sure I like them up there. I think I'm gonna put them down here. That way I can grab them easy. We use them a ton and I'm kind of short and can barely reach up there. So I think down here will be better. So I got this basket um, at the thrift store. Actually today it was only $3 and it's nice and deep. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in it yet, but I'm gonna put it on the corner right here. Um, I don't know, I might put like baking supplies in it, um, something like that, but I loved how it was nice and deep. Um, so yeah, eco-friendly, go to the thrift store, buy yourself some baskets. You can put all kinds of stuff in it and they look cute. All right, let's see if it fits. Uh, perfect. So over here in this corner is something, I'm gonna put my reusable grocery bags back there. Um, if you don't have reusable grocery bags, uh, good for you. We live in California and um, have to pay 10 cents per bag. So yeah, we use re reusable grocery bags. It's a lot of space back there and it's kind of hard to get down back in there. So putting my grocery bags down there, it's something that I only use like once a week. So, so that I don't have to bend down every day to pick out something that I'm gonna be using every day. Okay, so the bottom shelf has been stocked. I think that's gonna work out really good. I still don't have anything in the basket, um, but I will find something, I promise you, once I go through all my other stuff to put in there. So I have all my appliances, and then basically my bags and an empty basket. So I'm gonna move actually up to this top shelf here and add a couple things up here that didn't fit down here. So first I'm going to start with this huge pot that we just don't use that often. So I don't have to access it that easily. So what I'm gonna do is put that, oh, sorry, I wasn't even filming. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back in the corner over there. So whenever we do go to reach and grab it, it's still here, but not in a spot that we have to get to it all the time, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I have a couple of trays that I don't use that often either. Um, these ones I usually put like chips on or whatever whenever we have a party. And then I have this one. I actually have two of these, but I have no idea what happened to the other one. I don't know how I lost a big, huge <laughs> tray like that. 
but I'm gonna put these actually behind that pot so the pot kind of like holds it in place, if that makes sense. I know I'm saying if that makes sense a lot, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I have the two trays, or three trays back there. Still missing that white one. I'll let you guys know if I ever find it. Actually, oh, oh I found it, it's on top of the fridge. <laughs> I was like, where would I put a tray? Hmm, the fridge would be a good spot. All right, so let me slip this up there. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my two white trays, my two wooden trays, and my pot all in order. I'm glad I found that other one. on to the food now I think I'm gonna start with the canned goods because um, yeah those kind of take up a lot of room and we have a lot of them I think I'm gonna put them on the bottom shelf right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that So these awesome burlap bags I was sent to by burlapfabric.com. If you guys have not been to that website, oh my goodness, let me tell you, it is the coolest website ever. They have so many great DIY type options, but then also options like this for weddings or basically anything you can think of, burlapfabric.com has it. Um, but they sent me these really cool bags and I just kind of put like snacks in this one. Like we have pretzels in there and then some chips. Um, and then over here I have all of our breads. So we have like our Hawaiian rolls, our hot dog buns, and then just like our, you know, bread over there for sandwiches and such. And they're so cute. They're so eco-friendly. You guys know how burlap is super eco-friendly, um, good for the environment. And so I thought these would be perfect in the pantry to hold our bread and snacks and stuff like that. So thank you so much burlap fabric for sending these to me. I will have them linked down below for you guys. Okay, next thing to go in, I am going to put our cereals in. I've had these cases for a long time. I believe I got them at like Sam's Club or something like that. Um, but I mean, Walmart sells them, Target sells them. So I think that's a good option to just put your cereal in little containers like this and of course recycle the cardboard boxes that they come in or reuse them. Okay, I know we all love a good eco-friendly solution for everyday items. This company sent me these amazing wooden spoons and forks. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous and very cute, I must say. What I'm gonna do in the pantry is I'm just gonna take, like here's the spoons for example, I'm just gonna put them in this little cutlery set that I have here. I'm gonna put the spoons, the knives, and the forks in. And then I'm just gonna put them on the shelf, um, you know, so the kids can come and grab one. We have guests and um, the kids have friends over all the time, and so I feel like I'm constantly doing dishes. This is a great alternative um, to use if you don't like wasting water like me. These are biodegradable, eco-friendly, obviously. Uh, we also have a lot of bonfires, so I think what I'm gonna do is instead of throwing them away, I'm going to put them in a plastic baggie, and anytime we have a bonfire, I'm gonna use these as little starters, which will be fun for the kids to throw their forks and knives and everything into the fire. I think that's awesome. If you guys head over to my Instagram account, I am doing actually a giveaway for one of these sets. Um, also, thank you so much to Eco Buddies for sending these to me. I will have everything down linked below for you guys so you can check them out as well.
my mom gave me these really cool jars to put stuff in um, and then I went on Amazon and bought this like vintage well it's not vintage but vintage style um, label maker and it prints out these cool well I guess stamps stamps out these cool little labels um, I just thought it was kind of like hip and cute and so um, yeah, I'm gonna link this down below if you guys are interested. It was only nine dollars, which I thought was a good price, and it came with like three rolls of the um, the black sticky stuff. This one doesn't have one, so I'm gonna um, print out quinoa on that one. So you just stamp it, peel it, and stick it on, and that's it. As simple as that. Okay, it's that time to show off my pantry. I have the door closed, and yes, we do have a baby lock on it because, yeah, we have a two-year-old and also kids that love to eat anything and everything they can get their little hands on. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's check out the pantry. About each shelf just a little bit. Um, I'll go really fast so you guys don't get bored. Obviously, the shelf we have this appliances, which is a lot of them down there and stuff on the top because I use it almost every day. We have our reusable shopping bags, our um, lunch box and things, and then in the basket I decided to put other lunch box items. So we have our little Texas bag here going to the Texas, um, and then the kids' lunch boxes go in there as well when we go to school. On the shelf, second shelf, obviously we have the cans, some snacks, and then the awesome bags from BlackFabric.com with our breads and some pretzels and pizza and stuff in there. Above that, I bought these um, the plastic baskets from Dollar Tree, um, and in this one I have all our sweet potatoes and our spaghetti. These baskets also from Dollar Tree, I have our quinoa and John rice bags, and then some pasta back there. Over here we have our awesome cutlery set from Eco Buddies, and remember everything these two are literally down below for you guys. Also products, make sure you check them out. Um, we have our chili, the flaxseeds, our quinoa going up. Oh, oh, I'm getting old. We have our popcorn, um, and then we have our protein bars. You guys, this is what I have a lot more kids. I bought an entire box of tree bars, but really two days ago, and this is the very last one. Craziness. Reasons. Tomato pizza, um, spaghetti sauce, and then um, I wanted to a little bit in here too. These are both perfect items. I just use them as a core. Uh, but this is a big board, and this one is just called. I'm gonna below this called. I love the color of it. I can't keep it in here, so I'll put it in here. <laughs> we have some uh, oatmeal and all our cereals and candy powder here. Moving up, we have some yellow pumpkin shakes, some milk, some baby potatoes, and then kind of some bagels and some bread. And then this uh, thing my mom gave me, which has some sour cream thing, and that has some oatmeal packets in it. This other thing for them, I'll start for like really nice. Uh, picture from we have this. So we're gonna do this every night. So we have all this too there. Over here, I just have this other one on here. I have an extra shelf until I fill it with stuff. So I'll just have to put here and then use the same little maker that I use on these ones. So this one says cookie cutters, has all the cookie cutters, and this one has the essential oils and I just haven't done that yet. This is all for extra keys to the house and like the shop side and that kind of thing. And then this is it was a big one, I would eat all of them in one setting, right? <laughs> not the only one. Moving up, we have um, just like some paper towels. We have some doctor for our birds. Uh, this base, I also thrifted. Um, and I did not quite open it because it's big and it didn't really work with it. I put um, our salad tools in there and I just rolled it up as well. These are just some extra basket towel tray for when you go shopping in and get food. Um, these are those trays of hot and we have our little um, big blue water pitcher holder thing for when we, you know, PG Ballot or Bissell Hawks or what have you. We have some little shakes in our protein up there in the back. And then this is our, uh, our food saver. So that we use when we go shopping and save all our food. So down here I have the towels and then I do have two cups right here. Um, they're not they're just nails. Uh, but most of the room, most of the boxes, they hang down. Um, right here, actually. I just have so that is my beautiful pantry. Of course, like I said, the outside's not finished yet. I'm going to be doing um, another video on that soon. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button. We do lots of home decor type videos, organization, anything that has to do with home decor, decorating, uh, crafts, you name it, painting, we do it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, bye.